Good day everyone, Brayden here, back at you here in Epcot for our first big Epcot construction update of the year where we are going to take a look at everything going on in this park since our last video. It's been a month since I've been here in the parks at Walt Disney World. I had Christmas with my family and then I did a lot of work finally getting out an episode of Impromptu Imagineering and then the other thing that's been going on is it's been raining a lot down here in Central Florida so it's been hard to make a video. It looks like it's going to be raining again today but I'm sick of waiting so we're going to head into the park and see see what's going on as there's work going on with Guardians, some very visible work as the Novacore ship is being installed. And of course, the thing that I like to keep track of in these videos is seeing what's going on in that big dirt patch, the future world crater you have in the middle of Epcot. So without further ado, let's head into the park and see what's going on. Entering Epcot, you can see the sign for the Festival of the Arts. And off to the side, you can see there is a big line to get photos in front of Spaceship Earth. When you think of January at Walt Disney World, you think of not too many people. But judging by the Epcot entrance here, it looks pretty busy. Since I was last in the parks, Disney's debuted new strollers, Minnie and Mickey themed. They used to have the beige strollers, remember those? These definitely look a lot cooler. First up here today in Epcot, we're just gonna get right to it. Here we have Guardians of the Galaxy. Cosmic Rewind, which is quite chaotic right now. When I say chaotic, I mean that in both a good way and sort of a, we'll see how this works that way. The indisputably good chaos going on over here at Guardians is the fact that we're actually seeing work go on over here at Guardians. Disney's actually expressing an interest in getting an attraction done. They're saying this attraction is coming this summer this new roller coaster here in Epcot. So seeing this all come together as quickly as it is, it is very good to see Disney actually put resources and crews into getting one of these projects done that we've been following for so, so long. On the more iffy end is what we're actually seeing here with this Guardians attraction. You guys know uh, I am definitely an Epcot purist. I am a fan of Epcot's original theme, it being about the future and all, and this is definitely a big departure from that. And seeing the newly installed Novacore ship here, it's like it's really finally coming to fruition, that IP caught as people call it. So starting off this overview of the Guardians construction, taking a look at the Novacore ship itself. Disney just put this in over the last few days. They just installed this morning the last arm on the ship itself. So it's coming together here. This is the form factor. This is what you're going to see when you enter. If you come in from the monorail, if you're entering Epcot from the monorail, you'll be amazed at how tall the Novacore ship is as you go past it. It's something you really have to see in person to appreciate, but this is one big ship in front of the Guardians attraction. Also from the ground it is equally as insane. It's really hard to show on video the scale of this thing but trust me as you walk past it it is pretty crazy. Now specifically my criticism with this new ship is if you actually look at what Disney's put together here it is on this gray support arm. You see that? If you look at some of the past concept art we've gotten it almost looked like the Nova Corps ship was being supported by one of the wings where there's some sort of internal structure that Imagineering creates so that the actual Nova core ship can sort of be hovering there almost in the middle of the courtyard. Now what we actually got here is the Nova core ship and it is on this giant support structure, this huge arm that goes right out of the ground. So they ended up doing it a little bit differently than how we saw it in the concept art and I'm wondering how they're going to work in this change. Are they going to make it like the Nova core ship is on display? This is supposed to be an otherworldly pavilion. I'm sure they'll figure out some way uh, to work in how the Nova core ship is displayed outside the front of the pavilion, uh, but definitely not what I was expecting there. The other visible progress we have happening over here at Cosmic Rewind is obviously the facade of the former Universe of Energy building. You can see right now we have all sorts of paint colors going on. Right now I'm showing you what I believe are the final paint colors. There's one section where you can really see all the new colors Imagineering says they're going to put on there actually applied in the building. But if you zoom out a little bit and you look at this whole area, you can see there's one area where there's white primer. I think they're doing extra paint to try to work out some of the surface imperfections you have on this pretty old building that's been around since 1982 that stucco is definitely warped in places and Disney's been trying to fix that the last couple years. And just generally on the building, the paint is not yet complete. Let me know what you guys think about how this building is coming together. Also, where you're actually going to enter the attraction, they're putting in all the aluminum paneling and that I think looks really nice. If I was in charge of the aesthetics on this attraction, I think I'd put in a little bit more detail, a little bit more color on the exterior, but they're going with this very gray look. And on the right side of the Universe of Energy, you can see what the left side is going to look like once complete. You're going to have a little bit of detail on those columns there. So it's not without detail, but it is a pretty grayscale look. So that's what's happening over here at Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This roller coaster will be coming to Epcot, will be opening summer of this year. Now next door, 
to Cosmic Rewind. Here we have the former Wonders of Life Pavilion, which should be becoming the Play Pavilion, uh, but currently work is paused on this pavilion. We still have no news on it. There are some sets that have been installed inside of here. In fact, some lights have been on inside the building, and I believe Dreamfinder guy on Twitter, he spotted a little bit of something going on in the interior there, where you could see a partially installed set or something like that. So we should get the interactive Play Pavilion, where you're going to have meet and greets and interactive exhibits at some point in the future. It just has hasn't been a high priority for Disney for obvious reasons and even with the big attractions uh, we haven't seen a ton of focus but this is definitely one that is currently on the back burner but we'll definitely get as work concludes on some of these other projects there's so much going on in this park and then on the other side of the Universe of Energy building we're also seeing work continue here where you are going to have the Connections Cafe the new eatery you're going to have here in Epcot the new counter service to replace the electric umbrella facade work on this is going very well uh, it's definitely going quite quickly and what's interesting is is next to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, you can see Disney's installed two halves of a wall, which I believe later this year will be going across that entire pathway. The pathway that we've had during the Epcot overhaul that bypasses that entire center dirt patch, that area will be blocked off, and Disney is currently working on new pathway that'll go from Spaceship Earth along the side of the former Interventions East, where now we're going to have this counter service, and then further down we have the Creation Store, which is already open. So you'll be able to actually cut through to the World Showcase, which is quite exciting. Here we have the monorail. Let's go see what's going on with that dirt patch. Taking a look into the middle of Future World here in Epcot, an area we now refer to as World Celebration. Uh, now you have World Nature, World Celebration, and World Discovery. The work is slow going here in the middle area still, but I have to say I am very happy to see that we do have work. Now in Epcot right now, you have a lot of work going on at Guardians. You have a lot of work going on on the other half of Interventions East that's still yet to open. So as I just said, they can connect it through. That side will be guest accessible, but looking into the middle right now, you can see most of the rest of the area is still dirt and there isn't a lot of work going on in any particular area except over by Moana Journey of Water. Now while we have other projects Disney still needs to get to, like we looked at the Play Pavilion, it seems like the next project after the current ones Disney wants to focus on is Moana Journey of Water. That is where we are seeing work right now. We're from the monorail, you can see it looks like they are putting in plumbing as well as electrical conduit now. I think they're also putting in there. Some of that work isn't directly for Moana Journey of Water, it's also for the subfloor of Interventions West. They got rid of of the above ground portion of the building, but the below ground portion uh, where maintenance crews access various utilities, support systems for the park, uh, they've been doing some work on that stuff. But also, it looks like Moana Journey of Water is next up on the list of projects that Disney is going to be focusing on, judging by the current work in the center area. The area we still know nothing about that I think a lot of people are wondering about is what they're gonna do with that area where they were gonna put that elevated structure. We don't know what Disney's going to do with that area. I'm really hoping it's not just gonna be an area with festival booths you know, like a bland turf field. Hopefully they'll do some sort of cool building there. I definitely think there should be some sort of entertainment feature or at least something going on with that spot. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Disney's revised plan will be there. So that's a look at what's happening in the center area of Epcot. Last up here in Epcot today, the Festival of the Arts is now underway here in the World Showcase. We got that music going. Man, there was a big saga that I missed, I wasn't around at the time, where there was a six hour wait for the Figment popcorn bucket. Now, I'm not really someone who understands the whole popcorn bucket thing. It's never really been something I've collected. Now, currently it's sold out, but I believe that there's some more on the way or something like that. So there'll be some more sold during the Festival of the Arts. It'll just pop up at some point, and I'm sure all the eBay resellers uh, will get them as soon as they come back. They are going for a lot on eBay right now. So that's what happened with the Figment popcorn bucket. Pretty crazy stuff there. I have to say the Festival of the Arts is very cool. It's really cool that we have a festival in Epcot that's very focused on the graphic design. That new design that you have here in Epcot, that new font and everything looks really, really nice. It's definitely one of the good improvements when it comes to this Epcot overhaul, the refreshed graphic design. It looks very, very nice. On the other hand, we've also gotten stuff like what you see behind me here with the harmonious barges, which me personally, I'm not so much a fan of, but very good to see everything going on here with the Festival of the Arts and all the latest progress here in Epcot. 
but I'm pretty impressed with what we saw today in terms of the rate of progress. As far as the changes themselves that we're getting, I think you guys know my take there. Be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss any of the awesome content we have on the way. For January, I have to say the crowds are a little bit more than I expected. Live from outside of the Festival of the Arts here at Epcot, this is Braden. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day.